up friends, it's Steph. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I am so excited. These are literally my favorite videos to film, which is thrifting my Pinterest board. And this is gonna be fall edition. It is finally fall here in Nashville. It's actually kind of chilly today. It's around like 67. I actually get to wear one of my new flannels that I thrifted from my LA trip a few weeks ago. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave it in the description box below. But I'm so excited that it is finally fall. I can thrift for all the sweaters, the jackets, the jeans, the boots, just all of the fun things. So let me go ahead and show you guys what is on my Pinterest board just to give you guys a little inspo about what I'm thinking before we head to the thrift store. So I have a lot of greens pinned, which I love me some green. Normally I would go for like more of like the oranges. Like I do have some oranges, but I have been noticing that I have been gravitating towards greens, checkers of course, this beautiful like moss green corduroy. I would love to find some light overalls. I already have black overalls. I also already have some denim overalls, but finding a cream to pair with browns underneath would just be incredible. Incredible. Also, just some more chunky knit sweaters. I have a lot of graphic sweaters, as you guys know, but I've been looking for more of like the grandpa, really pretty embroidered, like chunky knit sweaters. I feel like I need more of those in my closet. I really want the Boston suede Birkenstocks, but they're literally sold out everywhere. I actually wanted them last year and I almost found an identical pair at the thrift store that we're going to today last fall, but they couldn't sell them to me because there was no price and those still haunt me. They were in a navy though, but I still would have wore the like, crap out of them. Like I am still so upset about it. So we're just gonna manifest this into the thrifting world if I can maybe find some. Okay, this is my main bucket list item for fall that I've been wanting to find is a denim vest. Guys, I don't know what it is, but I saw so many outfits that I'm like, oh my God, I have something similar to this with the beanie on a, like more of like a warm, sunny fall day. Just pair this over with like a beanie and a long sleeve or short sleeve. I don't know what it is. And even just with like one of my crew necks over it, like that would be a dream find today. But yeah, I have like some vests. I have browns as well, blacks. So if I can find maybe like some looser fit denim, I don't really have any looser fit denim that's like straight legs, so that would be cool. Maybe some like loafers. I'm kind of getting into like the loafer thing too. So kind of entering out of what my norm is. I really wanna go for like the casual look for fall this year. Also, I really would like a belt. I don't have like a chunky belt that I could like pair with like sweaters and stuff. So that's another thing that I've been looking for. But I'm ready to thrift, but of course you guys know we are gonna go get a coffee together first. And we gotta say goodbye to to the Ramsters and uh, let's go thrifting. Before getting into today's thrift trip, we have to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Dossier Perfumes. Dossier Perfumes dupes all of your favorite high-end designer perfumes at the fraction of the cost. Discover quality fragrances inspired by the iconic scents you love starting at just $29. Dossier takes away all the big markups that luxury brands have while also using clean ingredients and are cruelty-free, which is a big plus for me. I know that sometimes buying a perfume online can be tricky because you may not love the scent, but Dossier has a risk-free system which allows customers to try their perfumes before committing to them. If you decide to return the scent, they offer a standard 30-day return period. You can return any unsealed Dossier perfume and get a full refund, no questions asked. I also love the way Dossier designs their bottles. I love that it is so simple yet amazing quality. The shape of the bottle is perfect and looks great out of display. I also love that the tops of the bottles are magnetic so you will never have to worry about losing the cap or spillage. My favorite scent this month from Dossier is Citrus Green Apple. I'm normally not into fruity scents, but with the notes of amber, cedarwood, and musk, it really gives different elements to the fragrance. I love that Dossier gives you all these options to try new scents without breaking the bank, and I also love the quality they put into each bottle. They're always adding new scents to their collection, so always check back to see if your favorite fragrance is added to their releases. You never know what you will find, and it could be your new favorite scent. If you want to try any of their scents, Dossier was kind enough to give my subscribers a one-time discount code. Just use the code STEF10 at checkout, and that will be applied to your purchase. But thank you so much, Dossier, for wanting to partner with today's video. And now, let's get to the thrift trip. I decided to mix it up and start in the men's sweaters. And this is the first thing 
that was on the rack. This could actually potentially work. I kind of like that it's a cardigan, but it is that like cool chunky knit that I like. There's also this colored one, which I kind of do like. It's a little bit on the itchier side, so I might have to do something like underneath it, but I am gonna hang on to it. I now made it into women's coats, so hopefully we can find a denim vest and some other coats. So let's get to it. Oh, I wish this wasn't a large. This one is from Target, but this would have been so nice and comfy. It's just gonna be a little bit too big. If it was a medium, it would have been perfect. But so freaking cute. Okay, I can't tell if I like this cardigan or not. Like, I like the design, I like the buttons. I'll hang on to it and see what I feel. It's not like the, the most chunky knit that I'm thinking of, but um, I'm now in the women's sweaters and I just got here. So we're gonna hope and see if I can find some other things from my Pinterest, because so far, I haven't really found much. Okay guys, I found this vintage Wrangler flannel with a lining on the inside. I love these colors. It is a large, but they want $20. It's technically men's, but I found it in this aisle. So I'm gonna have to try it on in a little bit and see, cause I really do truly love these colors. Like I don't have anything like this, so might be making it justifiable um but i that's literally the only thing i found in the sweaters i'm kind of disappointed usually they have a really good sweater selection but they moved all of their long sleeve blouses up front so we're gonna rummage through that and see if our luck can turn around because didn't really find much Guys, I'm like having no luck today. I don't know what it is. I literally haven't found anything new. I am in the dress section, however. This is the closest thing I found to the best. It's just more contemporary. It's not long enough, it's not oversized. Usually I find a ton of stuff, but today it's just not happening. So we're gonna head over to the jeans and hopefully there is something that I can put in this cart because I wanna spend money, you guys, and it's not happening. Okay. I did find these. I really actually like the cut of them and their H&M, but look at the back, how fun this is. I'm gonna do the neck test and see if they will potentially fit my body. Mm. Nope, those are gonna be too tight. Well, then there's that. Well, these would have been a good find, but don't fit, so. Put in the back and gonna keep going. I decided to go back to the men's because I actually forgot to look in the actual like men's jackets. I only looked in the sweaters and the t-shirts. I found this vest. This is really cool. It is a large, might be too big for me, but I'm gonna hang on to it because that is actually incredible. I think this could be really fun if it fits. We'll have to see. That was literally the only other thing I found so far in the men's. But they have a lot of nice jackets. Like look at this jacket with the fleece inside. It's gonna be way too big for me, but that would have been really nice find as well. Okay, I'm gonna see how big this thing is. It might look ridiculous with what I'm wearing, but hold on, I gotta take this off to see. I can't tell, I gotta find a mirror somewhere, but I really do like it, so this may just be happening. It's a vibe. I dig it. I also found this sweater vest in the men's. This could actually just be really nice and it is green. So we did pretty good in the men's today. Here's that Wrangler flannel. I have to think about this too. Wait, I like this too. And I have a lot of those like sweatshirts that have the zipper and like the open. And I do like this color, it's oversized. Okay, I think that they added more sweaters in the men's because these were not here when I was here. Okay, this trip has turned around for sure. Guys, I cannot believe I missed the women's t-shirts and the short sleeve blouses. I have been all over the place and can't believe I missed that. So we're looking through those right now. 
Okay, this top is way cute. I like the collar a lot and I like that it has these. Okay, this is like something I can get behind. I'm really excited. I still like cannot believe I didn't go through the short sleeve glasses, like that's wild to me. This one is real cute too. I'm obsessed with these floral. I it has a tie in the back and it's Sag Harbor. Can't go wrong with Sag Harbor. The last thing I found is this BDG tank top. I know it's gonna be fall, but these are really good for layering. I don't have this dark color. I only have like a tan, but you guys, now I'm officially done. I went through the short sleeve blouses and everything and I found some really good stuff. So I'm staring at a really good collection right now and I cannot wait to show you guys. So I'll see you guys in the haul. First off, I want to apologize if you guys can hear wind. I'm right next to a window, but it's such a beautiful day today. It's windy, it's fall. I do want to say I'm a little disappointed in this thrift shop that I went to because normally I find a cart full of things. And the selection yesterday was a little eh, but I feel like I did find some great things for what I was wanting to find. Obviously, there were some things that I didn't find, like a jean vest, or I didn't even find a belt that I liked. But I feel like I found some of the core things that maybe I was looking for as far as patterns and materials and more layering pieces so without further ado let's get into it I want to just talk about this amazing vest for a minute I absolutely love this vest I had vest pinned on my Pinterest board I also had some plaid materials and I love this color it is a bit more oversized but I do think it's gonna work for what I wanted here's some inspo photos and here is what it looks like on but let me know what you guys think of this in the comments and how you would style it. As you guys saw on my Pinterest board, I had a lot of greens also pinned. This is more of a forest green rather than that bright like sagey green that I had, but I still really like this and it is that thicker dent material that I've been looking for. I really enjoyed the wooden button details on this. It also has pockets. It's more oversized so I can wear this over a lot of different things. Like I have pinned, here are some inspo photos and then here is how I'm wearing it. So I can wear this so many different ways and I'm really excited about it. I really do like how this looks and I like that it's more oversized so I was pretty excited when I found this I ended up getting the more cream chunky knit cardigan I wanted more of a pullover sweatshirt but I feel this is really fun because I also found that BDG tank top so pairing this underneath with this buttoned and tucked in it actually looks really cute because I like that it's more of like the high neck on the actual tank top so this will also be a great layering piece to go into fall and also winter this is something that I was missing in my closet I actually don't have a cream shorter cardigan like this so I feel I can wear it two different ways if I wanted to here's the inspiration photo here's how I'm wearing it. I really do enjoy it. I think it's really cute. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do now, especially with the sleeves. And I also really like how this tank top fits too. So I feel like it was a two for one outfit. I was really shocked that this looks great together. I kind of just put it on last minute and it was amazing. The last area I went in the video was the women's blouses. Now I don't really have a lot of blouses pinned on my Pinterest board, but you guys know that I love blouses and I could not leave the store without looking. I ended up getting this blouse with the really fun collar that also has these really cool buttons. I don't have anything like this and I felt like it was still fall so if I wanted to pair this later on with other things down the line like putting a sweater over it or just wearing it maybe like open with some jeans and some boots for now. There's a lot of different options that I could wear with this one. I don't have any like inspiration photos to put, but I really do like the fit of it. I like that it has really neat designs on it. So I do really enjoy this. And I'm happy that I remembered to go into the short sleeve blouse section because there was actually a lot. This was one of the only ones that I felt that was kind of similar to the vibe of my Pinterest board. So I ended up grabbing it. Like I said, this trip was not as successful as I wanted it to be. So I'm actually probably going to end up doing a part two to my Pinterest board because there's still so much more that I need to thrift and find for my fall to winter collection. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of the first round that I did and these items and which one was your favorite. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button so you will not miss anything that I post. Also, if you're not following me over on my actual Instagram, The Wandering Flirt, I post daily outfit inspiration as well as thrifting behind the scene content that you cannot get anywhere else. Thanks guys for coming along with me every single week. It's so much fun and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye friends.